having trouble opening my eyes. <laughs> because I'm leaving Bali. <laughs> because I love this place. <laughs> okay, I'm jacked on coffee now. Let's go surf for longer. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Brooke. I am here in the beautiful Bingen, here in the Bukit. It is my last day here in Bali. I am in my bikini, I've got my board. I'm heading to go get some coffee and then I'm going down to Belangen to surf with my surf guide there. Have a beautiful morning. jacked on coffee now let's go surf for longer <laughs> no I'm just kidding I do feel stimulated by the caffeine thank you bye bye I was just watching also a YouTube video of Cor Rothman at Chopu in Tahiti oh my god that wave looks deathly oh he made one of these waves though that just looked gnarly but he was in the barrel for I don't know how many seconds and then came out. He said that when he was in the barrel, he was only using all his senses because he couldn't see anything. He just felt the spray and then he came out the end. Oh my God, one day. Maybe not so much choking, but definitely I want to get barreled one day. I am now down here at Belangan. Belangan. Yeah, the waves look fun. Not too big, which is good. down here now on the beach after my lesson. I finished my lesson with Akka. Awesome. I'm exhausted though. I am I am exhausted. My wave count is definitely up. Akka definitely helped me get many waves today. I was actually, uh, I got a few going right. I got this wave going left that I just rode like the longest wave I think I've ridden since I've been here. In Bali so I feel amazing for that but my body is wrecked my back is really tired my energy is like I have no power today uh, I do feel good I surfed well but I'm tired after being here more than two months surfing every day and all the Ashtanga yoga I'm definitely exhausted today but I feel good <laughs> yeah and you know the waves here of Belangen are by far the most challenging for me in Bali or any wave that I've been on so far, which has actually only been Philippines and, and Indonesia now. Yeah, I mean, the waves here is so fast. To me, it's way faster than Impossibles. And then the conditions here, like there's a strong current and this morning it was really windy. So it makes it tough and then the wind gets cold. So my body was getting cold by the end. Yeah, by the end I just had no power, but I feel good. Oh, hey, cow. How are you? You're beautiful. I just came to BTS to meet up with Komang, but he's not here. I've just returned his board. I am going to come back later though because he's got two boards, my new board and my board that I got snapped, that I got fixed. 
And then also he's going to help me pack the three boards into my board bag tonight to travel with. Because I'm leaving Bali. <laughs> I'm just here at Padang Bridge, checking out my favorite wave impossibles. It doesn't look too big. It's definitely going to the low tide right now. There's not many people in the water. I just wanted to check it because I love this place. <laughs> I'm here back at my accommodation at Tulagasari. I'm feeling exhausted. My eyes are so salty, I can barely <laughs> open my eyes. I am going to eat this vegan power bar and then I plan to shower. I need to pack my bags and check out of here, even though I can leave my bags here. And then I was planning to go somewhere and get some more food, have a coffee, of course, work a bit. And at some stage I have to figure out if I'll go to BGS and pack my surfboard bag or if I'll just do it. No, anyway, I'm just talking out loud. I am all packed up. As you can see, my luggage board bag. I'm feeling very tired. This morning it was so windy at Belangan. So my, my eyes are like either sunburnt or salty or something. Having trouble opening my eyes. <laughs> I've just had some power bars. I need some more food. I'm going to check out of here, but leave my bags here. Then go and source some more food. I have still yet to figure out my schedule of when I'm gonna like leave and where I'm gonna hang out later. Anyway, I need to get food. I hope you're having a good afternoon. Okay, this is like a test run. Do you see my board bag? This currently right now has one surfboard in it and one yoga mat. I'm supposed to get two other boards in here. How the hell am I going to carry this with two pieces of luggage? This will be very interesting later at the airport, let me tell you. <laughs> just made it to Nalu Bowls here and I am seriously dying. I can't see properly. My eyes like are so salty or sunburned. My body feels like I weigh like 1200 pounds. Actually my back isn't as sore. It was really sore when I was surfing this morning. Just like muscle tightness. But I'm like... I found this bean bag and I could be here all afternoon. <laughs> okay, I ordered a smoothie bowl and it's really delicious. It's an acai smoothie bowl with like strawberries, goji berries, granola, coconut and I ex added some extra peanut butter just because. <laughs> really flailing this afternoon. It is now 4.40. I can barely keep my eyes open because of the, the wind and the salt. I'm now here at the loft again. I do like their coffee here. And um, <laughs> I just sneezed. <laughs> I'm going to get a coffee now. My coffee has just arrived. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Snapboard looks good, huh? Yeah. It looks really good. Like, you can't even tell anything happened there. Wow, it's incredible. Komong's helping me pack my surfboard bag. <laughs> okay, I'm super stoked. 
Komang and Jordan totally packed my surfboard bag. They fit three shoreboards in the double bag. They put foam, my yoga mat in there, and it only weighs like not even 14 kg. Super happy with that. Guys at BGS have been more than helpful and so amazing at answering all my questions and helping me out with everything. They're really taking care of me. So I highly recommend them if you need anything surf related. Amazing, amazing. I've got just a bit of time to get some food before I'm gonna call a grab and go to the airport. I'm in this cute little Japanese place that's just next to BGS. figured out already I am at the airport now I didn't really consider myself a surfer I considered myself more a yoga person learning to surf except now that I am leaving Bali tonight if you can see my luggage I'm traveling with three surfboards talk about a little awkward <laughs> checked in now. The airport seems busy for a Friday night. I bought from my favorite brand this popcorn with cashews chocolate caramel. Just thought I would eat some more snacks even though it's like 10 o'clock but I'm actually not very hungry but you know it's always fun to snack when you're at the airport. <laughs> I just made it to my seat. Very good. I pray that my boards travel safely. It seems like a full flight. I'm pretty tired. My body is like actually really sore. At least I can now open my eyes before this afternoon because of surfing this morning. I could barely keep my eyes open. I am tired. I'm most likely going to hopefully just sleep. This flight is like four hours, so. Bye bye Bali. It's been an amazing time. In saying that before, I definitely can reflect back on my two and a half months. It's been an incredible journey. Really, I am super blessed, super grateful. I feel like I have a new focus. I feel really clear and grounded. I feel really on track with where I'm going. I feel at peace with where I've been. Definitely had many challenging times with all the yoga and the surfing and just different situations. I feel like I've grown and evolved and I feel good. I feel happy. I feel really happy. belt waiting for my luggage and praying that my three babies the, the surfboards arrived all in one piece okay I'm super 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 stoked 
my surfboards arrived. It looks like they all arrived in one piece. However, I'm still waiting for my checked luggage. But here are my surfboards. <laughs> it's really strange as well. Before, because I slept on the plane, I woke up and I was still sleeping. But now, surprisingly, I'm awake. I'm not sure if it's delirium or if it's just craziness. <laughs> grab car so I'm just waiting for that. I have a reef cut as well on my foot. It started bleeding. It's underneath my heel. But that feels a little bit painful. Actually you know what I love? I've walked out here. It's like four o'clock in the morning and it's warm. Oh how I have missed the hot humid warm weather here. I mean I know in the daytime like during lunchtime it's gonna be so hot I'm gonna be dying especially if I'm walking around in like jeans. So warm. I have finally made it into my hotel. It is 5 a.m. I am exhausted. I'm really exhausted. Everything arrived safely, so I'm super happy with that. I just want to say thank you so much for following me around today. I do hope that you've enjoyed yourself. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, follow my channel. If you like the video, also give it a thumbs up. You can also follow, follow me on my Instagram at Yogi on a Board. I will see you next video. I am going to sleep. Good night.